young adults, like we're just going through a, comp I would say a completely different stage of life. Like we're currently just stepping out from living with our parents to like, we don't want to say that we're full grown adults cause that's super scary. And like, how do we navigate this world of life? Like we're going, are we going through college? Are we post college? And how do we like, we just simply do life together. And I just feel like having that community of Christians to lean on just helps so much in the daily steps of walking with each other. I think young adults need to know that this community is safe first before they actually want to dive in deeper. And so I think that's where this is a really crucial part of our ministry is to let people know this is a safe church. Like we are mm -hmm. safe people. And then and once they actually see that and believe it, then I think they feel a little bit more comfortable joining the bigger church. We have one fun event each month. We have worship circle. We have a um, service event where we all go out and serve with each other. And then we have a Bible study trying to connect us back into the church. And sometimes the service events are here at church and sometimes they're not at church. Like we know our main focus is like probably 18 to 35, but anyone's welcome to join us at our events. We want people that are interested in, in specifically reaching young adults to come to our events so that they can see what Hillside looks like a little bit more. It's been fascinating for some of the um, older people in our congregation to come to that and talk to me about their experience at Worship Circle because they're like, that is not what I'm used to at all, but I learned a lot from them. And then you start to see organic conversations happen afterwards. and. Yeah, that, that there, there's a real value to that. I feel like a big thing with having um, anyone who's not a young adult join us, I feel like it can make authentic and real like mentorship happen versus like if I went to Eric, like, hey, Eric, do you know anyone that would be a great mentor for me? I could naturally find that with inside of like the young adult community. Like I'm already going to this church. I'm plugged into like the small network. And then Mary Sue keeps coming and I start to really like who she is. I can personally go up to Mary Sue and be like, hey, are you willing to... Um, be my mentor and just help with more of that Christian walk naturally versus trying to make it more rigid and forced. I feel like that's also our hearts in that. Part of where the disconnect happens with the older generations and young adult generations right now is the older generations had a linear path. Hey, you graduate school, you, you find a job, you find a wife, start a family, and, you know, boom, boom, boom. With young adults, that path looks like this right now. It's, it's, and some of them don't want even three of the stops that were, you know, on the traditional linear path. And so there's there's so much more unpredictability. And so really, we just have to be very faithful to the young adults that God brings our way. And a lot of that looks like just being a relational presence in their life, a steady, reliable, hopefully Christ-like relational presence. Our goal is to like link arm in arms and go towards God, but knowing like, yes, God is our main goal to to grow a deeper relationship with them, but also have fun and create community with each other. And we do that by reading God's word together. We do mm -hmm. it by worshiping together. We do it by serving together and by having a lot of fun together.